Hello, YouTube. Hello. How are you tonight, guys? How are you? I'm making tags today and I'm going to show you how to take them up a notch. I'm waiting for my ladies to come back to come in. Give them a couple of seconds, a couple of minutes, I should say. And while I wait for them, you can enjoy the music. And I will be. Inking these up. Hello. Say hello, guys. Where are you coming in from? Hey, Edna. I am well. Hey, Mars, Maricelli, ¿cómo estás? Soy que me quiero comer los dulces y que sí, que no, y que no, y que sí. <laughs> Pero todavía no. How are you, Miss Edna? How are you, Mar Mariceli? I'm all here listening to Christmas songs all day. <laughs> are y'all going to be crafting along, taking notes? <laughs> inking these up, giving people a couple minutes to come in. How was your day today, guys? Or ladies? I have a habit of saying guys. I am working on a design team project already for uh, November, which will be a Christmas theme. Make me laugh. Oh, I will. Trust me, just that said, no, we laugh in here a lot. <laughs> yes. Oops. Yeah, all day I'm like, mm, I think I want to eat the candy, but I want to make a video. When I do, I'm going to give you my impression on a video. <coughs> <coughs> They look very yummy. <laughs> yes, they, they look very, very yummy, the sweets. Mm -hmm. And it was funny because I was talking to Edna about that yesterday here, as a matter of fact, that one of my 
Puerto Rican friends. She used to make me some sort of dessert. It had coconut in it. And it was so good. And then all the almost all the candies that you send me has coconut. And I'm like, man, it's like divine appointment. <clears throat> oh, I bet. The good thing is I can call Mariselli and I say, okay, send me some more, please. <laughs> I used to have a friend stationed in Hawaii and she used to send me um, different candies from over there too because they had a lot of coconut arroz con dulce sí. and there were stuff that I couldn't get here and she would send it but since then she's stationed in the US well you know within the states I should say woohoo I'm going to send you guys Mexican candy then. yum 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 Well, all these images are from, man, I don't even know what it's called because I just got it today. She just uh, put it out today on Etsy. Um, a cherry Christmas, a cherry Christmas. And it's like Christmas, but vintage and pastel colors. Mm -hmm. Oh, yum. Yes. She used to send me some coffee beans that... I don't know how they would flavor them with coconut. Oh my God, it was delicious. So yeah, I cut out the ephemera really quick to work on the tags that we're gonna be working on today. Yeah. Just put them there. I am this. Ora? Oh, she was. Oh, sorry, I hit the phone. Okay, ladies. So, are you all going to be uh, crafting along? <laughs> okay, here we go. So, I need to leave this out. I already had cut this. I know that coffee is great. Mm-hmm. Yum yum. That's what what my nieces and nephews say when they like something yum yum. Mm-hmm. And now my sister, well, they know Spanish, but my sister's like, "Dile en español, está delicioso." <laughs> okay, so let me turn this off. We won't be interrupted. Okay, I'm putting these out so that you can see. Today we're going to be talking about tags and how to kick them up a notch, right? And so, this is how I will explain it to you. When I first started crafting, this is how I would make tags. That's what I thought a tag was, which it is. I would just take a tag, right, out of cardstock, whatever cardstock it was. And I would cut it out, whatever size I had or whatever, or I would buy them at Hobby Lobby Michaels. They complain like that, right? And you make a hole here and you tie ribbon, usually, right? Okay. So I'm going to teach you how to get from here. And I didn't, I don't want to show you the final one because it's not glued down because I'm going to take you there. We're going to build it. So you can start off with a plain white and build your way up. So how do you build a tag up? How do you take it from a plain tag to, you know, a tag that just catches your attention and says, that you look at it and you're like, wow, look at this. And you keep looking and you keep looking, you find more stuff, right? Well, you start off by your base, which is this one. There's nothing wrong with this one, right? Nothing, absolutely nothing wrong with it, but it's plain. So you change by starting off with a base, meaning you either can cover it up. Like I do a lot of vintage work or my kits that I do on my journals 
have vintage in them. So I can get away with using um, music paper, book paper, um, coffee dyed paper, different scripts, different typewriter stuff. So you change it by changing the paper. Look at the difference. Here, let me put this over here. I wanted them out so I could see them when I need them. But there's one. Then you said, oh, okay, well, I, I can use coffee dye. I mean, I can use music paper, book page, or I can use paper, scrapbook paper from my kid, from the store. So you start off from here and you jump here or here. There's a difference already. Your eye is already getting drawn. Here, it's going to jump from note to note, and you're like, oh, what's that? And, oh, it has a little line, right? And here, you see this one, and pay attention to it. There's different elements. Hold on. Oops. Oh, no, wait. Oh, I thought I was going to take you off. There are different elements here. Look at the little lines. That's called ledger paper. Then you see the graphic, the rows, the leaves. Look at the edge. There's like a torn paper right there. Then look at here. They put like little splatters. So any paper that you look at, the more little things it has in it, the more it's going to draw your eye. So that's, that's a difference between a plane and then we're going to add to it. So how do we take, let's say, this one? Because I'm going to focus on that one. How can you add to that? Well, you add to it, I use a lot of vintage. You can add to it by distressing. You use distressing, you can use a marker, you change the color all the way around. Look at the difference. Plain, music paper, it's the same kind of music paper, just a different, like a different song. All I did here was distress it. Use this to make it dark. If you don't like the brown, you can use colors, you can use markers, you can use ink, you can use your stamp pad, change it to pink, change it to purple, depending on what you are using in your projects. So now you go from here, all that is is you covered it up and you did this. And then you think, well, what can I do to make it different? All we did was use the distress ink and look at the difference. So if I give you this tag, you're like, oh, thank you, right? And then, okay, well, here you go. Now look, it's different. Same base, same shape, same, same tag, just you're building on it. This has no layers. So it's one, right? It's a base. This one has one layer and has a music. This one already has two, the music and the distress. Same, everything. You're just adding to it. I'm going to put this here. So then how can we add to this? Also, this one in the back is plain. This one I put paper. This one I use coffee dye paper and distress. So plain, just paper, whatever paper you're working on. If you're working on a Christmas one, then you put Christmas paper back here. And here I put the vintage uh, paper and then I distressed it. So there, it makes a difference. And this is the back of the tag. The other ones are the front. So it only gets better. What we're doing is adding layer upon layer upon layer. The more you add, the more you're going to like the tag. It's like... Um, I don't know if you watch TV shows. Uh, they say for a woman to be a well-dressed woman, the difference is accessories. Like you can wear the same shirt and the same pack. But once you add the jewelry and your earring and the necklace and the purse and the scarf and the jacket and those nice shoes, now all of a sudden you've got an outfit. It's the same thing here. So then now you're here. How can we kick it up or not? We already distressed the edges, right? I sew. So now, this, see how this, this right here is dictionary page. 
All it is is different types of paper. If you do not like the vintage, like I said, you can do um, anything that you're working on. Like me, I'm work. I'm gonna work on my design team project. If I didn't want that, I could put this, but I would sew on top of it. You're adding more layers. So now look at the difference. Plain with the paper, with the distress ink and the paper on the back. This one has the sewing. And then look at the back. Look at the difference. I like to show you like this so you can see the difference. See how you start adding stuff to it? And we still have not even started decorating. And already, whoops, we have one, two, three, four layers already on our tag. And we haven't done anything to it other than have it like this. But there's a difference from here to here. Now, you don't like sewing? You can take a marker and do the fake, the faux sewing. Uh, I don't know how um, into scrapbooking if you were into scrapbooking at all. But you can let me take my pen down. You can, instead of sewing, just put a decoration with your pen and your marker. I'll pick it up. And I'll just show you some different ones. Like scrapbooking was famous for doing all these. Uh, the stitching. It's line dot, line dot. You can do flowers. You know, whatever. Whatever you want to draw. What you're doing is just drawing things. I'm just drawing really, really quick. Just to capture your eye on the side. Perhaps you have um, stickers that you want to watch. Maybe you want to do hearts that you want to add to the edge. Here I just took my pen. You can take a Sharpie. You can take a colored marker, uh, your um, watercolor pencils, your, your watercolor, um, those edging, the lettering, the one you do the lettering with, and just do anything on the sides. It takes it, again, from being a plain piece of paper to something that draws your eye. Let's say you have stickers and you can put them on the side. Let's say if you don't want to draw, you can take bling, right? They come in, well, this one's not straight line, but you know what I mean, that they come in like these. Nope, those are not straight either. Uh -huh. Of course, right here. The bling, right? You can put them all on the side of your tag if you don't want to do this, the sewing. You also have this kind of bling that you can cut off. How about a ribbon all the way around? So you don't necessarily have to sew. Any questions so far, ladies? Oops, let me grab my water real quick because my throat is getting dry. Oh my God. Ah, sorry, I was thirsty. Okay. So then you start thinking what you have in your crafty stash that you can put on the edge of your um, of your papers. Let's see, I'm looking through my little compartment here of bling. It's all the same. But maybe you have, aha, uh -huh, right here. This is another idea. Oops. Mm -hmm. Yes, because it's going to draw attention. How about if you take, like I have a piece of Rick Rack here, but any of your trims that are thin and put up on the side of your tag, like instead of the sewing, you're going to put all the way around. So use what you have at home. 
uh, many people don't like sewing, don't have a sewing machine, don't know how to sew, or just plain hate it, right? <laughs> so use what you have at home. How about ribbon, your markers, the stickers? It already makes a difference. So those are all options for the site. Like I said, I do vintage, so I usually will sew around like that. So now we're up to four layers. One, two, three, four layers. So now we have this, right? So now it's like, okay, I want to use this as a tag. Depends what you're doing. Like I'm doing this Christmas one, right? So um, let's say I want to use this little girl right here. Right? I said, okay, I want to use this little girl. So I said, well, I can glue her here or on the bottom or on the top. Wherever you put your biggest piece on your tag, like this will be my biggest piece, right? Wherever I put it, I'm going to draw. You can always glue. Yes. Yes, ma'am. On the side, yes. And, yep, those would be great. The fabric tag or the art glitter glue. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wherever you put this big one. Hey, chef. Oh, no. What did you burn today, chef? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> so wherever you put your biggest element is where I'm going to draw your eye. Look at the screen. Look. See how you, your eye just automatically gets drawn in to where you put it. So think of where you put your, where do you want the people's eye to go to? So you need to get an image, whatever it is that you want to put there. However, remember we want to build layers and we want to go up, up and um, add layers to it. So then I look at this and I'm like, okay, well, what can I add to it? I always think in the back, what can I do to the base first? We're talking about how to take your tags to a, to a different. <gasps> oh, no, chef. No, no, no. Thank God you have birds. Ay, ay, ay. Hi, chef. Yeah, no more laying, no more laying down. <laughs> so, guess what I did? I put lace on top of this. Look at the difference. Can you still see the background paper? But I added texture to the top. And let me show you which one it is. It's this right here. It's actually, um, I got it from BB Craft when I did their product reviews. And they called it Lace Table Runner. But I love using it on my crafts. And you can use any lace, fabric. You can use cheesecloth. Anything to give you texture in the back. Tissue paper, a napkin, um, I'm trying vellum, anything you want in the back. And that's just another layer on top. So now we're up to one, two, three, four. Now we have five layers on here. And it doesn't seem like it, right? You just look at, oh, that's a pretty tag. But there's five layers. You started off here. You added the paper. You added the brown distressing. You added the sewing. You added the texture. Hey, Donna. Thanks for joining us. We're talking about how you can take your tags to um, up a notch, another level. And so far, can you believe that this tag has five layers in it? We started off with the plain one. Then we added paper to the front and the back. Whatever paper you want. 
we added distress ink, front and the back. We sewed around it and gave different options. If you don't like to sew, if you don't want to sew, we can do stickers, fabric, trim. You can doodle on it with your markers. So you can make an edge. And then you add texture. I added this lace trim right here. It's table runner, they said, but I love it to give it texture. But anything you want to add texture, cheesecloth, vellum, napkin, and you can still see the back. You can see it in the front. And this is five layers already. Thank you. So then you, you're going to decide, I'm going to use whatever image, right? Whatever you're working on. If it's a picture, let's say you're working in a mini album, right? Or a photo album, a scrapbook, you're going to put a picture there. Or you're going to, um, you know, it depends what you're working on. If it's a tag for, for Christmas time, it's going to say Merry Christmas. If it's for birthday, it's going to be say Happy Birthday. I'm working on my design team project for November, and it's Christmas themed, so I decided I was going to use this little girl. So now we have to decide where are we going to put it? Where? Up to the side? In the middle? On the bottom, right? Hanging off the tag, hanging off the top. Well, it depends what you're going to do to the top of the tag. Did you notice I didn't make a hole? I didn't make a hole for a reason. I found that when I make a hole, and you know what? I don't have my hole puncher here because I hardly use it. You're going to hear noise because my nephew just got here, and that's fine. <laughs> this is a normal household. Let me see. I'm going to cut out a little hole with the scissors, but you know what I mean. We would normally punch out a hole. The reason I don't punch out a hole is because then you have to thread some ribbon through it, right? And in my journals or books or flat mail or cards, wherever I put the ribbon through, it adds bulk. I don't care if you... If you loop it through, I don't care what you do. Usually, people will knot it, right? And that's fine, but it gives you that little knot. So, what I've learned to do in my case, and you can do the hole and you can loop your, your um, ribbon or lace. All I do is fold it up and twist it. I fold it and then twist it to the side. And then I will attach it with a stapler or glue or something like that. If I want something sticking out as well. You have options there. But we'll talk about that when we get. Could I hold it? Uh, a little bit. <laughs> oh, still wait. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and here we have our image. Right? So now, how can we make that image pop? How can we draw our eyes to it? It's the same thing we did here by adding more layers. The more you add, the better it's going to look. So then you start playing around with, what can I do? We already did the tag, so now we're going to focus on the image. I'm going to put this aside, and I'm going to put the image down. How can I make that look different? How can I make it stand out? So you can take your trim, cheesecloth, uh, anything you have in your stash, paper, and you can start you can start adding to it. See how that looks? Let's say you want to take paper. Well, then you take a paper that's bigger. And you layer it behind. And you start playing with things again. Layering them. All you're doing is adding more stuff to it. That's basically what you're doing. And I'm trying to see. Yep. This side. And then you decide to... Do I like it? Do I not like it? 
this eventually is going to go here. So you can put it on top of the tag and you can play with it. Like, do I like that? Do I not? Does it match? And the more you add, the more your eye is going to get drawn up. So I'm going to go back here again before I continue. If you take your image and put it on a plain tag, that's how it's going to look. And it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. And then you can put your, your tag up here, right? There's nothing wrong with that. But the more you add, the more interest you're going to do. Hey, Ryan, how are you? Talking about tags and how to make them a little bit more eye-catching or eye-appealing. So it's the same thing. The more you add, the better it'll start looking. So you start adding. You start Now you're looking at the little girl, right? The, the image. What can I add to the back? What can I add to the front? So on the sides, the same thing. Think about what you have in your craft supplies. What can fit here? Could maybe something that you fussy cut fit here? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's play around. How about some little trims, ribbon? See how this one's a little bit sparkly? I don't know. Let's start putting things down. Here's some more stuff that I... Um... Good, Ryan. I'm glad. This is stuff that came in the kit. Maybe I want to put it there. And so you start adding with to it. The more you add, the better it'll look. Then you say, well, I, I really didn't like that paper. I don't think it goes with it. Well, then take it off. Like, well, let me play with it, right? We're playing. It's not glued down yet. Right? We have to put some kind of thing in the top because it's a tag. Exactly. Scraps would work great. Right? You can either put something sticking up. I'm going to choose to do something flat. Because I want to showcase, in my case, the sewing around it. Because if not, I'm going to cover it up. Or I could cover it up. Let's find out what happens. So, yeah. You know, I don't have, Thelma, I don't have fussy cut images. I don't have a printer. You don't have to. You're going to use what you have. Um, from the kits, if you're using the scrapbooking kit, they come with cut aparts, right? You can use that. If you have stamped images, you can use a stamped image. If you're using, hey, Jacqueline, if you're using, um, if you're doing a, um, in an album, you're going to use somebody's picture instead. Uh, how about a sticker? Look at how different it looks with a different picture. Right? And I'm going to leave the flowers just so you, you get an idea of how it looks when you change pictures. Um, I'm trying to see what else I have on my desk. Okay, right here. I don't know. No, that one you can't see it because it's white. How about if we put a flower up there? Hey, Jacqueline. Yep. Yeah, the Christmas cards and the fussy cut die cuts. So you don't necessarily have to have what I have. Like, I don't, I don't have flowers. That's fine. Don't use the flowers. Magazine cutouts, die cuts. How about, uh, here, look, I have a die cut right here. Now let's take this off and let's play with a die cut. I wouldn't leave the hole there. Well, maybe I would if I if I join it. There we go. And put a die cut there. You know, and then you mess around with whatever you're doing. Do you want it in the middle? Do you want it on the side? Do you want it on the top? Let's see what else I have in here. I have this other image. That one's too small for you, but. So you take it from here to here. The more you add, the better it's going to look. 
So I want to still work on the back. Because if you work from the base up, then you will eventually say, okay, that's enough. You cannot start from the top down because then let's say, oh, well, I want something in the back. Guess what I have to do? I have to take everything off and rearrange it again. Yes, ma'am. I sure am. Because we're talking about tags. Hey, Chris Crafts, how are you? Okay, Jacqueline, I understand. If not, you can watch the replay. It's, it's about how to take our tags up a notch. And we started off with the base. And we're up to five, six, seven layers in this tag. Our first base is just regular cardstock. Then we covered up this piece front and back with whatever paper you have, whatever paper you want. That's two. Okay, Jacqueline, no problem. When you get back, you can ask questions. You know, we're good here. <laughs> so then that's two. Then we distress the front and the back. Alrighty, Jacqueline. Then I sewed around. And we gave, we gave options for the, the little sewing in case you don't like to sew, in case you don't want to sew, in case you don't know how to sew, you don't have a sewing machine. We talked that, think about what can you do to replace the sewing? And we talked about maybe putting bling all the way around. Um, we took a marker and we doodled all the way around. Um, trims, stickers. If you don't like the brown, you can take your markers and do purple, pink, whatever it is that you're working on. The same thing with the paper. I usually work with vintage kits that have a little touch of vintage. So that's why I use dictionary, different kind of paper books. This one's a dictionary, music paper. I have another type of music paper back there. Um, different books that look differently. And I'm going to show you that. I forgot to show you that. And then I added that lace. Remember that lace, the one I showed you? This one, the one that's my favorite to use. Ooh, popcorn, yum. Thank you. Oh, this one? <laughs> this is an Andrea stitch. <laughs> you know, Artie Mays? Everybody kept asking her, I like that stitch. Do you have a special machine? And she's like, no, guys. It's a straight stitch, and then you change it to zigzag, and then you go straight, and then you put it wherever you want. So I call it the Andrea stitch. So I took the same um, lace, but look at the paper in the back. It's different. And you get different looks with it. For some reason, this book had like the text looked um, like in shape. See, this one's like a heart and this one's a diamond. This is music paper, but it was a different song, so it looks different. More music paper because I use it a lot. It's just different. And I, this one I put across. This one's another dictionary page. But the dictionary page is a different cut. This one, the dictionary, you know, the bold ones are here. And this one's in the middle. Hey, Melinda. Welcome, welcome. You've missed a lot. Chef is on here. He came in announcing he burned his dinner. We have a... A lady called Mariselli, which is actually Edna's sister. She's all the way from Puerto Rico. Then we have Mr. Ryan coming in. We had Donna making popcorn. Jacqueline said hi real quick. She'll be right back. And now Melinda's here. And Chris Crafts came in as well. <laughs> so, yes, different paper give you different looks in the back. 
So we are going to, this one stays here, and this one goes here. And we are at one, two, three, four, five, six layers now, because I added another layer. How you take your tags to the next notch is by adding layers. We started it off with one, and we added paper to distress, paper to the back and the front, and distress the front and the back. Three, four with the sewing, five with the back, the lace. And now I'm going to add this other piece of lace on top to add texture. Nope, it was stir fry. Well, I don't know, maybe it was chicken. <laughs> so what else, what is something that you have in your stash that you can use instead of this piece of fabric? Because I don't want you to say, man, that looks great, Domo, but I don't have that fabric. Give me ideas what people can use instead of this piece of fabric. Something that you have at home. Now, maybe some people, um, yes, you can hand sew. Of course you can. Uh, I've seen beautiful things done with people that can crochet. They make holes all the way around. And they crochet on the side, and it looks gorgeous. Mm -hmm. The world is the limit. Perhaps you want to take a um, hole punch and then just, you know, loop your yarn through it. Ah, there you go. Ooh, that's an idea, Chris Crafts. She's saying you can put holes in the paper and make it look like fabric. Yes, like you can weave it and make all sorts of patterns. Yes, ma'am, you can. And so for this layer, if you don't have fabric, you can take um, cheesecloth. How about a napkin? How about any trims you have? Anything. More paper. Bye. What if I cut this paper and I put it on top of there instead of just putting this on top? It's just um, adding more layers to it. Oh, that would be great. Great idea, Melinda, to use the cross stitch material. Yep. Even the other one, what is it? The plastic canvas, the one that looks like the grid? That would be great because it has a lot of texture. How about, I just saw it here. Oops, let me see. How about a die cut that has an edge right here? You can use anything. I'm trying to think uh, things that come in the mail. Um, brochures, you know, that have a certain section. I don't have anything from the mail here. Hmm. There you go, a doily, yep. The colored burlap, yep. The mesh, people work with mesh. Um, regular fabric that's not lacy. We can put that back there. All you're doing is adding more things. I'm trying to look in my stash here. Lace, Oops. the doilies like you said. How about just regular papers? Look, that's what I was looking for. Like these are cut apart. Somebody sent me these in Happy Mail, right? But look, it's double-sided in the back. So what if we layered them? Uh, oh, this one's different. So what if I layered them? Staggered them from one side to the other. Is this smaller? And then put this one here, cut it down. I just added three more layers, one, two, and three. And this is just paper. What if we add it? Oh, there we go. I have smaller ones over here. They're just not cut up. So 
So you add what you want in the back. And then you start layering up. Ooh, that's a great idea, Edna. Edna's saying not to use a whole piece. I mean, the whole, a whole piece, but to use pieces of it staggered. Oh, that would be great idea. The negative to a punch, like. Mm -hmm. I don't have a decorative punch. Either. Ouch. Oh, that's why I had you on timeout. <laughs> my circle punch is munching my paper again. I have to sharpen it with a foil. Um, but yeah, the negative, right? You take this and this one, and then you just cover that up or use it like to display, let's say this. Actually, I think that's too big. But how about this one? And then, of course, you would cut it there. That's a great idea, Chris. And so you're using the negative, of course, this would be nice and trim. But yeah, that would work great. I like that, as a matter of fact. You just gave me an idea for a shaker. Yep. Great idea. So then you just add to your tag. So I said, okay, I want that there. I wanted this trim up here instead of like the ribbon coming up. Mm, I had these little pieces. I thought it would look good because she has snow behind her. Yeah, me too. I like shakers. I like to make them and I like to play with them because they make noise. <laughs> Where's that other piece? There we go. Nope. Thought I had another. I'll find it in a minute. These came with my kit. So what is it that you have? Maybe a sticker, right? And just start adding. Start adding things around. I think I want to add this to the sides. And see how I'm not gluing anything? I usually don't. You like shakers, Donna? Yeah. I'm not gluing anything down. There's people that glue it and go to the next. I don't because sometimes I don't like the end result. Like sometimes it ends up clashing. I was trying to explain to Sue. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's because you have to. Uh, sometimes, like me, I'm a visual person. And until I learned that th you call this a negative, I would have never thought that this would have been called a negative. And maybe she's a visual person like me, like she needed to see it. You could describe it all you want to me. I'm telling you, I have no idea. To me, it's Chinese. If I don't see it, I have no idea what you're saying, even if you describe it to the T. Because I'm a visual person myself. So maybe she's a visual person as well. And so I don't glue anything down until I like the end result. Because sometimes I'll start putting things and I'm like, yeah, no, this, this doesn't look good. <laughs> so I play around with it. And once I am happy with something, then I'll glue it down. And the more you add to your tag, the prettier it gets. No, that clashes with that because this is Ponciera and that's like a regular flower. And then I have bling here that I thought I could put here because these are like pink because this set is, um, what is it called? Pastel. Yeah. I'm going to put the bling on there. I like that. And so then you just keep adding. And you keep thinking, what else can I do? What can I put on there? And the more you add, the more gorgeous your tag becomes. Or your, it doesn't have to be a tag. It can be an embellishment. It could be a belly band. It could be 
um, the front of a card. It could be in your on your journal page. Yeah. A recipe book. Who uh, D was working? I think she finished. I'm not sure. Mm -hmm. How about bling? How about buttons? Buttons would work also. Because in this case, it's like vintage so you could do buttons. You could do, um, let's see, flat back pearls, right? Which I think I'm going to do instead of that. But I have, yep, I had some over here. I think I'm going to do the pearls over here. Look at the trim. It has like a little hole. Let me bring it up so you can see it. See how it has a hole in the middle of that flower? I figured maybe I could put a little pink pearl since it's pastel. So that's another layer. I like just that pink flower there. It brings a pop of color to me. You're putting too much pink on. Where? You mean up here? Yeah, I took off the flower. Where did it go? I took off the flower because it's too much pink and it clashes, I think. I'm going to take that one off. I'm going to put a little, two little pearls at the top that are pink, but they're light pink. And they're going to kind of blend into the, oops, the trim. Oh, there you go. Thank you. How come I didn't think about that? You can put cheesecloth, tool, or gauze. You're right. Um, sheer ribbon also. Yes. Instead of this this thing in the back. And I do have cheesecloth. Somebody was asking the other day what cheesecloth was. Let me go get some. I bought this cheesecloth at Hobby Lobby. It's called cheesecloth trim and it comes in different colors and I got the cream colored. So yeah. And this is what the cheesecloth looks like. It's like gauzy. Great idea, Donna. And then you just, you keep adding. What else can I do? My favorite, right? My glitter glue. See how she has snow behind her? I can put just a touch of this in the back and on the angel wings. Because look, she has angel wings. And the more you add to it, the better it becomes. There is a point when it comes, it becomes too much. Exactly. You have to fit it. The cream color is good because you can always die cut it. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am, you can. You sure can. Uh, coffee dye, tea dye, avocado dye it. I usually leave it cream. In my case, because um, I never know what I'm going to be doing with it. But I agree that the coffee dye just adds something to the cheesecloth. Yep. And so then I just added a little bit of shimmer. On the snow and on her wing. And it'll dry. It dries really fast. That's it. Let me put her back. And so we took this tag. From here. To here. And we have tons of layers. We have one, two, three, four. The lace in the back, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen layers. So the more you add, the more interest you get to your project. Because I can just do it like this, and there's nothing wrong with that. 
you can glue it. It's a tag. Look at the difference. And so you start thinking, what can I use instead of whatever? Like Chris said, oh, you can use the negative in the background, right? You can use a cheesecloth like Donna said. Edna said you could use pieces of fabric. So what is it that you have in your stash that you can do? And the reason I keep asking you, what do you have is because when I first started um, crafting, like if I was watching this tutorial, I'd be like, I have to go to Hobby Lobby. I need to find this. I need to find the pearls. I need to find this because I had no understanding of all she was doing was layering. And I, I didn't understand for a long time that I didn't have to go and buy everything that that person had until I said, oh, it's just trim. Oh, well, I don't have this one, but I have, let's say... Like I have, oops, I think poop me. You know, I have this trim. So then I would make do with this one. So yeah, that's why I keep asking you, like, what can we use? Somebody send me this in Happy Mail. How can I use it here? Maybe instead of this little shiny piece, I can use this. And let's switch that out so that you um, can see that Anything works. That's why I haven't glued it down because I want to show you that whatever it is that you have at home, you can use. Modify it to what you have, what you're working on. You know, like I can fold this over. It's too big. I'm just going to fold it over so I don't have to. You can bunch it up, right? Make a little ruffle, make it into a poof. Make it into a little bow. And it's the same one. Mm -hmm. And so you can put that instead of the other one. How about if I just want to perhaps knot it? Like so it could sort of kind of look like a ball. Let me see. And so you work with what you have at home. Eventually when our budget allows or you get happy mail and people start sending you like little pieces like this, you know, or little pieces like that, then you have something else to add to your collection. So see, all I did was knot it and kind of made it into a bowl. I can put it up here now. How I can take this off and put this down here. Uh, now I can put that little pink flower instead of this one. Right, because Thelma, I don't have that, but I have the pink flower and a piece of ribbon. I wish there was a way to figure out how to incorporate dog hair. <laughs> you can, you can save it and make, I don't know, yarn or something. <laughs> something. You know, what if you have a cut apart? Well, then use the holly instead. Mm -hmm. But see, Use what you have. You have something you cut out of a magazine? That will work. Oh, I don't have ribbon. Okay, let's see. I'm trying to see what's on my desk so I can show you. You know, work with what you have. Just change it out. And it changes the look. And sometimes it's for the better. What do I have here? This is a row of bling. Maybe I'm going to remove one of the sides. And put this over here and add the bling in between. Let's see. Maybe I want to do that. And maybe I'm going to add this and the holly. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, she has a lot of dogs. So you just change it up. How about trim? That's why don't throw away your scraps. <laughs> yeah. Basically, Donna, yep. <laughs> right? This is a piece of ribbon that's hairy. <laughs> it has like the eyelash trim. 
How about if we want to put it there and take off this one? Or take off the white all together? You know, and start all over. But that's how you do it. Maybe you don't want this. Maybe you do want the this thing sticking up. Or you're going to leave it like that, like a bowl. And do this. Let me, let me just play around with a new idea. I'm going to change the image. What if... Okay, that one was kind of like a tag shape. So I'm not going to use those so that we can change. How about a square one? Right? How do you incorporate a, a smaller picture? Well, I would, I would put something behind it. Let's see. I'm just playing with what I got on my desk. This is a, a piece of chipboard that I had left over from that um, cover that we did with Melinda. I, it's not cut to two sides, but, you know, you can put it there. You can put that there. You can start laying, layering around it. Remember that other one? Start layering. Use this one, this trim instead on the side. This needs to be cut down, but you know, you get the idea. I'm trying to see if I have, oh, this one. No, that was like a, what else do I got on my desk? This bow, it's it's not a bow, I just knotted it. It, it was a piece of, of this thing. Somebody sent me a, a long piece of this. Yeah, it did. Exactly. You can emboss paper. Yes, I got some from Mariselli today, as a matter of fact. It's in the box that she sent it to. A die cut. There's there's tons of things you, you can use. How about stickers? Look, Mariselli sent me these today. Perfect. It has texture. I can add things all the way around. So, you know, think about what you have at home. Like, look at the beautiful images she, she sent me. I would totally cut around it, which people call fussy cutting, and put it right in the middle. It, I think it would look great on a tag. I'm trying to see what else. Okay. Yeah. The little background. She sent me these. I can cut a piece and put it as a background. And you can take this same technique and add it to your journal pages, mini albums, embellishments, uh, cards, whatever arena of crafting you're in, you can add it. And all you do is add layers. Thank you. That's how I make my layer tags. I just keep adding to it. And I won't glue it down until I'm happy with it. And I don't put a lot of fabric tag because the fabric tags are really good glue. And I'm going to layer stuff. I'm going to put things on top. So I just dot it every now and then. Alrighty. Hey, Linda. I saw your little tea bag video today and I commented on that one, but I did not comment it comment on your glue book. It's awesome. Awesome. I like the way that tag looks, so I'm gonna go ahead and use it because I want to I'm working on my design team project, and I think it will look good on the journal. How are you, Ms. Linda? Anybody have any questions? Oh, I like that lattice looking like that you showed there. I could have done. Oh, really? Yes, um, I just got that today, as a matter of fact, for a prize for winning bingo. 
book to the Bible bingo. And Mariselli, she's on here, or she was earlier. I think she still is. She sent it to me as my price. Well, part of my price. She sent me a whole bunch of goodies. And that's the beauty, guys, of playing games, of swapping, that uh, you get access to things that you don't have. Like, I don't have that dike. But now I have one. Tired. Aw. I am good. I'm tired as well. It's been a long day. A very long day. So, yes, it's an awesome glue book. And the tea bag. I don't think I will ever do it because you, like, you know, do fold it here. And I'm like, yeah, no, that's not for me. <laughs> but it it's it's cute. It would make a cute little embellishment in a journal, like tucked in somewhere. Or like if you have a friend that really, really likes tea, you know, it would make a cute thing. I would like to put somebody's face in there, like a picture. I should say a picture, not face. <laughs> that that didn't look, <laughs> that didn't sound very nice. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Can you tell it's been a long day? <laughs> <laughs> yes I was like oh no but you know like I can sit here and make 10,000 bows because I'm working on a project you know but maybe you can't but I, I will I have the patience to sit down and do all those bows I've done them before you can't type yes I know, Miss Edna. Edna hasn't didn't win this time, I don't think, right? So yeah, swapping and happy mail is, is just great. It's great to have uh, crafty friends that will help you out when you need something, when you want something. <laughs> I don't know if I want to add this. I don't know if it'll be too much. Oh, I forgot it had wire did you see what i just did see i need i need to show you to give you ideas i just automatically do it because it's just second nature to me so this trim was like this it's connected like that right so i cut it down the middle first and then i said well i like it but it's too like flat this way so i bent it because it has a wire in the middle. I bent it in half, so now you get this shape, the hairiness, as I call it. And so now, instead of it looking like this, behind this pontiera, now it looks like this. Oh, that would, that, true that. And you know what? They're not heavy either. Yeah, they wouldn't be heavy at all. You're right. Great eyelashes. So true. So true. Let's see. And so now that goes there. And then, oh, yeah, baby, that popped it. Yep, yep, yep. But this needs to go down. It's too on top like right there yeah <laughs> i know what to get you for christmas piece of little eyelash trim <laughs> and then you can have your gold eyelashes on for the new year what oh thank you melinda i was like delma and i saw the dots i'm like what but yeah thank you 
Hello, uh, we will dress up and post our picture with the eyelash trim. Hey, that would be fun, right? Like the live, um, how to use eyelash trim on your eyelashes, right? How to use your crafty supply to look great on New Year's Eve. That would make a great video. Okay, guys, who's going to join in in my collab? I will make a collab and you all will have to come up with something to wear. Because we can't, we can't take Linda's idea. She already said that about the eyelashes. But we can think of something else. That would be funny. No, that's your idea. You could be in our collab and you can you can share your idea with others on YouTube. <laughs> but that would make great eyelash. No, Melinda's going to make her own swimsuit out of dog hair. <laughs> can't, can't do that. Can't do that. Oh, the only thing is drying right there. Yeah. <laughs> only eyelashes. <laughs> Apparently, these people, these ladies are crazy. I don't know. Yeah, uh, Melinda's going to show up with the, <laughs> oh, you're going to do a hula style. Okay. I thought you were just going to wear your, your phone around your neck. Did I miss, is Chris leaving? Look up Project Rowan. Here comes Melissa. There you go. Melinda. Yeah. What? Donna, come on over. Open up a, a channel. Here we all support each other, you know. It'll be all right. Yes. Yes, ma'am, we sure will have it forever. Too funny. And so that's how I make my layer tags, ladies. I just add stuff. And keep adding until I think it's enough. Oh, that wasn't the one for here. Well, that's okay. I use that somewhere else. <laughs> Too funny. And the reason I chose to show you on tags, ladies, it's because tags can be used for a lot of things. You can send a tag in Happy Mail and it won't cost you. Um, if you don't put anything bulky and it's pretty flat, like I think this one, you might get away with it. I wouldn't put the pearls on it and the bling. But other than that, everything else, you put it inside of a card or card stock that you bent in half. You put it in here, right, the size of the tag, like this, and put it in an envelope, those long legal ones, and you could probably get away with, I think it's under an ounce, which would be one stamp to send as Happy Mail to someone. Oh, really? Yeah, usually try to stay under 15 minutes. Ah, Donna.
you just watch us. That's fine. You can watch us. Yeah, I think I need to just tap it down, tack it down. <laughs> You're so funny, Anna. You're going to come up. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, be proud of Melinda. She tried out for the design team. So that's one of my tags. Where's Chef and where Brian go? Speak up or forever hold your peace. Oh, she got all her people already? Thank you, Donna. Yeah. Okay, whoever is on the live at this time, put here. Because I'm going to raffle off this tag and I'm going to send it off to the winner. So that I can write your name down and do a drawing for the tag. So put here if you're here. Melinda, Linda, Edna. I see Melinda, Linda, Edna, mm -hmm. Melinda, Linda, Edna. Who else is here? Donna, okay. Here. One, two, one, two, three, four. Melinda, Linda, Edna, Donna. Did Chris, I think... Chris had to go, right? How about Chef and Ryan? Are you on here? Say here, because I'm going to make a raffle for the this tag that I made today. A little token of appreciation from me. Cool. I'm going to give it another minute or so so that you can tell me you're here. I have Melinda, Linda, Edna, and Donna. One, two, three, four. And I show five people on. So who am I missing? Melinda, Linda, Edna, Donna. And I, I don't... Wait, let me see. Let me double check. I don't think I have my tablet on my channel today. Let's see. One, two, three, four. But I have four. And I don't count on the five. So am I missing somebody? Let me see. Am I on my... No, I'm not on. Okay. So Melinda, Linda, Edna, and Donna. Linda, Linda, Edna, and Donna. Here's Donna going in. <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, they come. I've noticed some of them come in and out. Yeah, good luck, ladies. I thank you for coming on here with me and chatting and having a good time. I'm shaking them up in there. They're in there, I promise. Thank you. I use it. That's what I use to hold my fabric tack upside down. I don't know what it is, if it's a cup or a vase. All right. Here we go. Let's see who it is. Ah, can't reach it. There we go. And the winner is... Oh. Check it out. It's Edna. Edna, you're the winner of the tag. And those are the other three names. So Edna wins. Congratulations. Yeah, I keep my fabric tech glue or end glue. I also keep, I have this little jar also. So I'll send that off to you. I know Edna's address, so. And in the back, it says it's made by me. And I'll go ahead and initial it. And let me do that before I forget. And sign it and date it so you know when it was. What's today? What's the date today? Oh, I forget. 1023, 2020. I'll just put my initials. Awesome. So there's a tag for Edna. Any questions, ladies? Any suggestions on how we can make our tags even better? I mean, we all can improve. You are welcome. Ooh, you had a great day then, it sounds like, Miss Melinda. Oh, if I have, hold on, I have a message. Is that? Oh. Okay. Oh, no. Okay, there. Okay. I thought it was going to go off. You are welcome, Miss Edna. No, I thank you all, ladies, for all your support. I really enjoy coming on here and chatting with you and just learning you know about you and your suggestions like the negative of the punch and sometimes we forget the things like donna suggested the the thing the ouch the cheesecloth like yeah why didn't i forgot about cheesecloth you know we forget all those sorts of things. And where can we leave the cheesecloth? I was going to cut a piece off. I must, I must have thrown it in the floor. Hey, Dee. Oh, that's right. She had a blessing show up at her door today. It's all right, Miss D. We're here. Yes, but I can give you another one. And the ladies can help also suggest what we can put on so that we can get more ideas. Maybe it's things that you have. See, I automatically grab. The music one. <laughs> I don't know why I always do that. But okay, let's change it to the dictionary one. I will show you. Let's see. Where's that other one? 
Ah, perfect. Oh, this one, yes. It is from um, Hobby Lobby. I love that trend. Okay, Ms. D, are you ready? We started off with, you know, the tag base that I always do. It's just whatever shape, whatever stencil, whatever die cut of a tag you have or the ones you buy at Hobby Lobby, Michael's, Tuesday morning. Oh my goodness. Right? There's nothing wrong with this tag. You can punch a hole in it, put the ribbon, and put your image. It's a tag. Oh, wow. Probably. Right? There's nothing wrong with it. But we're, we're going to talk about, now that I have this one, how do we take this tag to this level? And I showed you how to, I showed the ladies that were on here how to do it step by step. And I'll show you really quick. So we start off with whatever paper. This one I use cardstock all the time because then you get a stiffer. As you layer up, you get stiffer um, tag. You can use junk mail because basically what we're going to do is you're going to cover it the front and on the back. You can use scrapbook paper, the printed journal kits. Um, you can use coffee dyed paper, avocado, avocado dyed paper, um, music paper, book paper, magazine, anything you want to cover the front and back with. Since I usually do journals or vintage crafts, or even if I do just regular paper crafting, I tend to stick with music paper, dictionary paper, book paper, and on the back, some have the avocado dyed paper and some have a vintage paper. So then you go from this to here. So now you have one layer, right? Because you're going to put one layer of paper in the front and one in the back. You can leave it white, but imagine if I would have left this one white. Let me show you the difference, right? And then look. Well, this is not white. Then there's a difference than when you put it like this. So you're adding a layer of paper, whatever it is that you're working with. So that's one layer, front and back. Then I added another layer with distress ink all the way around. I use the brown and I use the distress ink because. Again, I use vintage. I do use glue stick to glue the paper. Mm -hmm. Because if I use any, any other glue, it gets too stiff sometimes. And my uh, sewing machine, uh, the needle gets all messed up. And with the glue, it, the glue stick, it doesn't. So, yes, I do glue this the paper down with glue stick. And my glue stick that I love is this one. I can only, well, I can find it at Walmart, but this one is too expensive. I buy this one at the 99 cent store. Really, Donna, you need to share with me. Send me a message and share me, send me um, pictures so I can post them on, on, on my Facebook page. So how did you do the beet one? Oh, and the cucumber. You made a tea out of the cucumber peel? So now we're up to three layers. Because I did it back, front and back, D. I know, she needs to tell us. See, Donna, you already have your first video on your channel. How to two videos one is how to dye with beetroot and the other one is how to dye papers with cucumber i've never heard of dyeing papers with cucumber hmm. 
make a video and make a channel and make a video. Trust me, you will get lots of views. Really? I've never heard of anybody using... Have you ladies heard of anybody using cucumber to dye paper? Yeah, that's an awesome idea. But like I said, I've never heard of anybody using cucumber to dye papers. Mm -hmm. She said it's a light green, so I imagine it would be like a sage green. Right? I'm telling you, ladies, you all have the best ideas. You really, really do. It's because we all do things that that others don't think of. Like, I would have never thought I would have just thrown away the peels. <laughs> yeah, it's like, what did you have for lunch, cucumbers? What did you have for lunch, cucumbers? <laughs> and avocados and beets and... <laughs> I think it was four or five. I think it boiled for 15 minutes, but needed to boil longer. So the longer you boil it, the darker it, it becomes with the cucumbers. Because I know the avocado, that's what it did. And I was that was freaky. Buy and shop. And you use the peels also? Because I've never eaten beets. I don't know what to do with them if my hands are going to be red afterwards or what you got to give us a 411 that means all the information doc you make paper what oh so that then my hands would turn red Okay, so then I buy fresh beets, and what do I do? No, beets don't. Beets don't stay? Okay. I Forgive me if I'm wrong, but aren't the beets red or like a dark red or purple or whatever color? Dip the paper in the water. Oh, yeah, I just pour it on top of the paper. Then you dry it in the oven, air dry it, or blow dry it. Boil it with the skin. Yes, it's a red. Uh huh. Cool. I have to. And you use one one beat. Two whites. I can. This is how I get around coffee dyeing my my cheesecloth. I use my distress ink to turn it colors. I've also wet it and used one um, when you have ink pads or Sharpie or whatever. After it is boiled, peel the skin off. 
I boiled it some more. It was six beets. I have three big men. <laughs> oh, see, I've never eaten beets, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't even know what they taste like or how. Oh, that's better. Boil the skin some more. Okay. Hmm. Neat. I've never eaten beets ever. They're sweet? Really? And you just boil them. With no salt, no sugar, no just water. See, I don't know because I've never eaten beet. They're sweet. I'm going to put everything neat again. I love this. Mm -hmm. Just water and they come out sweet. Will they stain my teeth red? Or no. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like my like my little niece. I don't know. <laughs> okay, let's put that on there. There's a mess everywhere. <laughs> well, there you go. I'm going to give them to my little nephews and nieces. I'm like, eat this. Say, you see why your, your things are red? Because you didn't brush your teeth right. <laughs> hey, Lisa, how are you? Thank you. I was showing them how to make them. This is the first one we made. And Donna is telling us how to dye paper with with beets. That's too small. And um, cucumbers. I'm I'm interested. I'll have to see if they even sell beets. I'm sure they sell beets at the grocery store. However, I'll never look for them because I've never eaten them. Show what again, Edna? Oh, you want to see your tag? Yes, ma'am. Okay, Linda. You're welcome. So, oh, how about this one? I have to layer paper. Yes, you can. Yes, ma'am. That's what we were talking about, that 
and you don't have to have what I have. Just think of what you have at home or in your crafty stash. Like here you can use the Tim Holtz pictures or those little people, I think they're called people. Yeah, a picture, a regular picture, a die cut. Yes. I also, what? You also blend beets with bananas, milk, sugar, cinnamon for a smoothie drink. Ooh. Bananas, milk, sugar, cinnamon. Okay. You have to try. A stamp piece. Yes, ma'am. Yes, it's just, you know, whatever it is that you are, you know, working on, trying to use up. Um, yep, that's what I was telling the ladies. You can use fabric, lace, bling, buttons. Yes, Melinda is just awesome as a wrench holder. She really is. She's on top of her game all the time. I need something in the back. Oh, you all want to see a sneak peek of... I haven't even done this video. It's going to be... It's a new kit from one of my design teams. I'll put this aside. Thank you. I need to start another one, but look. It's a pastel Christmas. I haven't even made the flip through. You all get a sneak peek. It's just beautiful. <laughs> yes, I have to go back and do it. I really like the kit. But I love that. And it's all done in pastels. I love this little girl. She's so cute. I know. It's called A Cheerful Christmas by Studio 28E. I'm going to make a video, a flip through like this, showing everybody. It's so pretty. The ephemera, and she gave us a different spine. Like to do what you did, Melinda, to put it like as, as a reinforcement. This one's an 8.5 by 11. It does have a little lip on it. See how I'll have to trim that off. Well, this one's ephemera, but well, you can't really see it there. I'll see it in the other one. But look at the tags. They're so cute. I really like the images. And then she included some stuff. Yes, I love that. Envelopes and a journal card. I thought it was very sweet. I really like this. Very pretty. Too cute. Look at the little girl. It's just cute. I like it. So cute. Yeah, these are from Studio 2080. It's her newest um, kit. She just put it on Etsy today. She actually sent me the links before she put it on Etsy. Look how cute the little bunny. I thought it was so cute. And I love this page because it's collaged. And this is perfect like to make tags with in the back, right? To cut out your um, base cover with because it's already like has a lot of images. Or you can just cut out whatever you like. It's so cute. Look at the little girl. So cute. And then this is the last one. So you all got a sneak peek because I haven't made the video yet. And the first time I printed it out, for some reason it printed out like this. It's not even, it's bigger than half a page. I don't know why it printed out that way. My printer just sometimes acts weird. Studio 28E. And they're really cute. And they're a little smaller. 
So I'll probably make a small journal with these. They're so cute. So, so cute. So y'all got a sneak peek. You always do. Let me write it down for you. Yeah, I think I am going to make one. Ah, that has there. Can you see that or has that thing? Studio twenty eight E on Etsy. It's called the Cheerful Christmas. She just put it up today. So you're gonna get it hot off the press. She has really cute. Oh, is that the tag I was working on? Of course it was. Yes, I love working with her digitals. So this was here. Only thing this was meant for the spine, but I thought I liked it there, like for a little band. Why is this curving? Oh, because there's something on the bottom. Haha, uh -huh. funny. Yes, ma'am. It sure was. It was a big kit. She usually puts one, two, three, four, five, ouch, six. That's a camera. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, ouch, fifteen, sixteen pages, and one, two, three, four sheets of ephemera. Yes, I'm going to put it on there. Yes, it was a big kit. Her kits are really, actually pretty big all the time. A lot of pages. I think I had this logo on it, I think. Nope, not that one. Nope. Yeah, I think it was that little girl. And this is the ephemera from the smaller kit. The one from the big kit is bigger. Oh, I think I like this one better, but I don't like that spine thing. I just put it back there because it needs something in the back. Oh, do I have any sample? No. It needs like this color, like red or pink. And I have it. I like this one. Make it special in the pond. I'm going to put this bowl on there. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Be gracious to you.
So are you all going to be making your gifts this year? Do you usually craft your gifts to certain people or you just buy your gifts? Oh my goodness. Um, so I will craft some gift this year. It will be my first one. Oh, nice. Awesome. Yeah, I think I'm going to make mine also this year. Well, I usually make some. It's because, like, you know, the older, I don't know, the older people get, they don't need certain things. You know, like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to buy them. Oh, you need to follow or look at, um, oh, what's her name? Melody Lane on YouTube. I don't think it is. But it has a learning curve. It's not difficult. It's just that you need to play with it, you know, like get to know it. It's like the computer, you know, when you first learn the computer, you were, well, at least I was like aggravated, like, oh, I don't know how to do it. And then after a while, you know, you get the hang of it. And the more you mess with it, the more you find out what it does. I think that's how it is. Let's see. Maybe I can cut one of these up. All I do is cut out these are junk. I would like to learn to do sure. Same thing, Melinda. You know, they have tutorials. They have tutorials on their shirts. I think even on the cricket thing. On the studio or community or something or other on the cricket. Mm-hmm. The shirts are easy. You just cut like your design out backwards. You mirror it. Like when you cut it out, like you that cut stuff out, there's a little button right that says um, mirror. You mirror the image so it cuts it out backwards. And then when you put it on your shirt to iron it, it's the right way. Yes. 
What, Melinda? What's your problem? Oh, you were not mirroring your image? Ask me how I know. Yeah, I ruined a lot of I know that way. <laughs> yeah, she's really good. Really, really good. She's the one, remember, when we were talking, when Susie was talking about the Patreon? She has Patreon. And, of course, right, there's different levels, but that was one that I, I would pay $1, some classes or whatever, is different prices. And I would pay, I think, the dollar, $2. I can't remember because she really teaches you a lot. <laughs> and uh, Lori, hmm. what is her name? Lori, something or other. I used to follow her on YouTube, and then she has her her Facebook group. She's really good, too. Yes, she is an awesome teacher. I used to be on her Patreon when I had the cricket, like the lowest level or the second level. It was like $2, I think, or something. And she has lots of levels. You're funny, Donna. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man, the horror stories with the shirts. I burned the vinyl on my iron. I didn't, I didn't have the, the press, the, the shirt press or whatever it's called. So I would use my iron. I forgot to put the paper on top, and I burned it to my iron. I had to get a new iron. Um, there, that one, Noon Maker, yes. Yeah, the Lori is, is really good, too. She's on YouTube and has a Facebook group. Mm -hmm. That's the one I, I learned how to use my Cricut with. I'm just putting my glitter accents. I might as well be doing something too. Yeah, sounds like what? Putting the vinyl on your iron. Yeah, I ruined my iron. Uh, I forgot I was making a shirt, and me and my husband were were talking about I don't know what. Both me and my husband standing there, we burned a shirt, threw the shirt, threw the pad of the ironing board. We were laughing so hard. Um, what else? You know, I'm, that's why I tell you, like, when I tell you I share, I share because I usually ruin things. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm being honest. It's a learning curve until you know what you're doing. Oh, yeah. Like yesterday, right? I was using the embossing, the heater thing, <laughs> cold. Like, you know, when you don't know, you just don't know. What can you do about it? Ask the experts learn okay what other images is there i think those tags they're too big for that what if i cut this one look i really like this image of the little girls peeking out the wind or up the chimney i think it's so cute i think i want to do that on the tag so how do i cut it
Where's my handy dandy pencil? Let's see what happens. If not, we'll print it out again. What's the problem? It's just paper. Okie dokie. Now you know my process of making tags. You know, I just play with them until I like what I see. And the more stuff you add, the nicer it gets. What's your favorite thing to make, ladies? Like, <laughs> for me, the right, this tag. Because I'm always making them. But, like, is there a certain thing you like to do over and over again? I like this image. Let's see. Oh, flip books, Lisa. Man, I haven't done a flip book. Well, I haven't done a flip book in a long time. Ooh. Yeah, I haven't made one in a long time. I remember when I used to, when I made my first flip book, it was a disaster. <laughs> it wouldn't flip. <laughs> so I just made a book. It was funny. Uh, but, I, you know, I can't even remember the last time I made a flip book. Hmm. Interesting. You have any um, videos up in your channel of your flip books? Oh, we should, Lisa. I love to swap. Oh, you love making greeting cards, Donna? Awesome. I... I like to make cards, but I don't know how to make cards. Like, I just swap. It's like the same theory as a tag. I just put whatever looks nice, but I don't know how to. To actually make, I don't know. My favorite thing is to try and think of different kinds of new things. Yeah, you, you like to do that. Yep. And your mind works with that. Like me, I would be like, I don't know. Yeah, now now you got me thinking. I have to think about the flip book. Susie would like Lisa's channel. Why so? Like, wh what is it? I don't know. I. Lisa, you know what? Did you put her, her, yeah, you put her link up here. I need to remember to do that. Because some of them, you know how, before I would write down and then I forget the paper. Because now, yeah, it will be fun. I need to look for your link. Yeah, you need to tell me, like, what kind of flip book. Like, oh, here it is. Oh, it won't let me do it from here. I guess I have to go here. Like, what tutorial are we going to use to make the same one? Oh, you do, do whoa, Dollar Tree hauls. Cool. No, then I think of that. Let me see. Let me see if I let Tell me anything goes flip book. But like what size? What are we doing? When are we doing it? Oh, come on. 
much in his life. Jump has a terrible leg. Terrible leg. Check it out. Oh yes, I've watched your channel before. I was cracking up with with one of them with your husband. Yes, I remember that. I couldn't stop laughing. What's going on? Yes, it was. Um, I started laughing. I don't. I can't remember what it was, but you stuck it in your hair, and you're like, "Yeah, no, this is not gonna work," or something like that. It was funny. I was laughing. want to get those little girls. Hmm. Okay, fine. I'll cut you all off. How about that? Okay, Lisa, sounds good. Just send me a message through either Facebook or Instagram. Same name. Or email me. Now this thing. Come on. Same, Thomas Creations and more at gmail.com. Yes, it's under the same name, Thomas Creations and more at gmail.com. you get it, Lisa? Because my tablet and my phone have a terrible lag right now. Thank you, Melinda. It just popped up. Oh, yeah. Crazy.
Yeah. Oh my goodness. Yes, thank you. So what gifts are you going to be making, Ms. Donna? That Arnold D wanted to make paper in the back. You said you were going to try or you were going to make um, gifts this year. And I was wondering what gifts were you going to make? Like, you know, we might need gift ideas. I know I'm going to make, uh, what are they called? Like those covered um, notepads or I know there's, I know there is a name for it. portfolio no portfolio i don't know something or other that's what i'll be making I'm missing something in the back. And I'm trying to think if I have any red. Oh, maybe anyway. this paper will work. Nope, because it's too red and green. Hmm. Thinking what I can put behind that image. Uh, like the smaller legal pads. Not the legal pad size, but I don't know what they're called. No holder. I don't know. Those things, if I ever get to it. Nice, Dean. You all use that jacuzzi, which is good. Nice. I would too if I had. Like, back would love that. Oh, you make them, Melinda? Yeah, I, I made some one year. Oh, one year. But I need to. I think that's what I'm going to make because everybody. Okay, you know what? I am just going to put you on here, the cheesecloth, and then I'll layer you up tomorrow. Oh, I decided on a shabby chic pillow for your mom. Nice, right? Wow, that sounds amazing. Okay, my sister, I might decorate a picture frame or I might paint a Oh, nice.
Yeah, some nail polish remover to thin out your fabric tech, but it has to be the acetone kind because apparently there's different kinds of nail polish remover. Some of them don't have the acetone. How much what? No polish remover? You add it a little bit at a time, a little bit at a time to your fabric tech and you just keep adding to it, oops, to it until you like the consistency. Just messing with things. I'm not happy with. I need these pictures are too small, but it's because you know what? I should be cutting this. It's okay. I'll reprint them. These are bigger. These are the ones that I should be using on those big tags. Let me cut them out. I'm still thinking about shabby chic pillow. How neat. Yeah, I'm trying to come up with something for my nieces and nephews. Because they have everything, you know? Like, what do I, what can I make them? They're small. One is three, one is two, and one is one. toys trust me tons of toys and I, I buy them toys when I go see them because they don't live where we live I buy them I buy them um, simple toys you know because they have all the other toys but I buy them bubbles and play-doh and stuff like that <laughs> okay Melinda thanks for stopping by Good night's rest. I'm thinking with this recipe, I'm going to swap. I'm going to use stamped images for to decorate them.
Okay, Melinda, go go rest. Ooh, sweet. Why not? I'm sure you have plenty to choose from. Yeah, they like toys, but no. I wanted to make them something like crayon holder. I don't know, something. They have plenty of toys. Yeah. I can't believe it, ladies. It's almost November. I just can't believe it. It's like going so fast. Yeah. Yeah, she called me and she told me. What? Who are you really calling? I am. See? Okay, who are you? No, pero eso no es, ese por le falta, por eso no lo puede pagar. You need to go to the, to Facebook. Oh, okay, what time? Oh, here. Ella le mandó ese, que le pagara. Pero 12 es con el mío, ya no, es ese. So, uh -huh. ella le mandó. ¿Y por qué le dijo no? Le ah, bueno, entonces, no, sí, pero eso está mal. So, le pone, le va aquí. Y, yo voy a pay. ¿Cuánto le nueve? Pay. Ajá. Confirm, confirme. El pin. ¿De su nombre? I mean, de, de este. No. De este, del teléfono. <laughs> Message you to help with the stamps. Okay, D. Hey, Jacqueline. <laughs> yes. Dice D que le diga hi. No, this is Edna. It's D. I'm trying to figure out how to do her. Uy, no más tiene uno. Oh my gosh, how do we know? I know. Give me a sec, I need. Okay, it's processing the pain. Mira, and now this is to say hi. Say hi. Hi. Aquí me puso. Es lo que está poniendo ahí. Ok, ya. Sí, mira, aquí dice complete. Ajá. Pues qué padre. She said hi to you. It should make some kind of, you should make some kind of edible snow, something interactive and edible, maybe Christmas lights in the car with Christmas music. Yeah. I'm the fun and I always do stuff like that. Like I, I was telling the ladies here that I um, I take them simple toys. When I go over there, I'm loaded. They already know. Um, bubbles, Play-Doh, paints. We play with mud. We go kill snails. That's something my, my nephew enjoys, killing snails. Uh, we go hunting for birds. Which we don't have a real gun. We just pretend we're killing them and finding them and blah, blah, blah. 
Um, so I don't know, like, you know, maybe one of those um, no sew blankets. I don't know, something. I always get in pajamas, like, you know. They get all the toys from mom and daddy and everybody else. So I'm like, mm, I don't know. I wanted to coloring books. We they, we do that. We have coloring books days and nights because they love to color. Uh, we bake. We made gingerbread house before. They like to make cookies because I let them get all stuff. Yes, he loves killing snails, but you got to understand where they live, they have lots of snails, and they're not the little snails. I guess they're slugs. Like, they're humongous, like, no joke. They're like this big. The biggest one, and then all the way down. And they can't get rid of them. They've done all sorts of things, so trust me, they're not doing nothing to the population. <laughs> Yeah, messy things. Yeah, they really do. Yeah, that's what <laughs> that's what my my uh, brother in law and sister say. I'm like, you know, that's what he wants to do. Like, ask him. Let's see. And when he sees me, let's go outside. Okay, that's what he wants to do. So you know, he likes to kill them. And my my niece, which is a two year old, she we have to watch her because she likes to eat them. <laughs> I know. Yuck. So we have to watch her for that. <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know what to. I don't know. To get them. <laughs> I do. We keep them off of social media. But yes, we have some. He goes hunting for the snails and he, he knows where they hide and it's fun. That's what he likes to do. I made the mistake of showing them there was two frogs. I made the mistake of showing them the two frogs. The bigger, my nephew thought they were disgusting. He's like, yeah, gross. And the little, the middle one, my niece, um, I loved them, wanted to play with them. Oh, the snow! Ugh, they're nasty. I don't like them either. But yeah, they're everywhere. You need to buy him a knife. Ah! <laughs> How funny! He loves to barbecue though. He wants a little barbecue pit because he, when his dad barbecues, he he likes to barbecue. So yeah. The big one, the little one, well, well, not the little one, but my niece, my ne my nephew's the oldest. Yeah, I know. My niece will probably burn the house down. Like she is something else. <laughs> but when they're older, that would, um, yeah, no, I could, I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust the middle one with a uh, with a knife. The big one, I would, but the little one, oh my, with a middle. My niece, she's something else. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah I'm trying to think of something you know I don't know because they get all the they're going to get all the toys they have all the toys yeah I know <laughs> no kidding yes I know it's ugly but yeah I don't know she yep They've caught her several times with chewing on them, and she says that they're good. And I'm like, that's nasty. But, you know, they're kids. What can you say? So, yeah. I was trying to think of something I could make for them. Something will be fun for them. Oops. Ugh, yeah. They're nasty. I know. <laughs> yeah, so I'm like, ah. Uh. 
Don't know. Yes, I will. I just, you know, I'm throwing it out there. Maybe you all could give me ideas with the smallie ones. My daughter's 21, so been out of the game for a long time. <laughs> hard to shop for. Well, they're not hard. It's just I know they're going to get everything. So so like I say, I do the snail killing with my nephew. I, <laughs> and they know when I get there, they're like, let's go outside. Okay, let's go. Have you all put up your Christmas tree yet? Or do you all put up Christmas tree? I want to do my ornaments this year. go up in November. Yeah, I know. Yeah, my daughter and my husband would I would have to wait till after Thanksgiving dinner to start putting up Christmas because I love Christmas. I need to buy a Christmas tree this year. I don't know where to store it, so I'll probably buy a small one. Just for me. Fussy cutting. Do you all like to fussy cut? I like to do it when I'm on lives with you. Not just kidding. <laughs> when I am watching, like, well, not watching because I'm fussy cutting, but like when there's a movie on. But you know, I got to do it. How about you make and give your nephew and nieces a special treat? Yes, they get one from me every year. I try to do whatever they like to do. Like, since my um, nephew is into killing snails, I'm going to incorporate, like, the pic a picture of a snail into his ornaments. And my niece is into unicorns, so I'll make her a unicorn one. So as they grow up, I'm, a, I'm hoping that They'll have like a little memory of what they were into every year. 
so yeah, I'm doing that. But you know, they don't get to play with those. Well, they will play with them. I know they will. But yeah, like I don't know. They're hard. <laughs> Yep. So somehow I'm going to have to incorporate that. <laughs> yeah. Somehow. <laughs> Too funny. But yeah. Let's see what I come up Now killing kids, maybe. <laughs> but I'm for sure gonna try that beet. I'm gonna when I go to the grocery store, I'm gonna go look for a beet. And of course, cucumbers we have. Wait, why am I the only one chatting? Where is everyone? I don't know. I don't know. I thought it was because of my my lag. Because sometimes it takes a while for the things to come up. But I don't know. Like I know Jacqueline had come in. And then I don't see her anymore. But I thought it was my internet. Sometimes your comments take forever to come up. But it's my internet. I thought that's what was happening. Because it shows that there's five people on. But I don't know. <laughs> you were away. I thought your, your nurse or what do you say? Your doctor, your private doctor, your private nurse. Oh, she got a call. <laughs> yes, it happened. There we go. <laughs> yes, I remember that you have a private nurse. <laughs> yep. Yes, ma'am. I don't know where D went or Jacqueline, but I don't know because I thought it was my internet. I was lagging. Maybe not. I don't know. Edna, it's 1040. Because she's on the same time zone as me, Central Standard Time. You, Donna? Oh, you're an hour ahead, so you're Eastern Standard Time. Yeah. Yeah, I remember it. And it told me last time we were on the same one. You're an hour ahead. Yeah. I'm going to gather these up, put them in my little kit area. it at night also. As soon as I'm done here. It's been a long busy day for me. And I think they said the weather was going to get cold or something like that. 
eventually, this coming weekend or this coming week. Rainy? Really? Well, isn't it, well, forgive me if I'm wrong, but isn't it always rainy there? Like it rains often? Time, but it's raining here. Yeah. Yeah, I oops. Oh, I found more down here, no wonder. Here it's uh it's hot and humid most of the time. Supposedly we're gonna get a cold front this coming week. That it's supposed to be cool on um, cold for us. Cold for us is probably like in the fifties or sixties. For a couple of days. We will see. that was well, no kidding well you're so no i don't know are you gonna get a cold front this week yeah they sure do <clears throat> it can usually go through there it's crazy See, if we were in the 40s, that would be like extreme weather here. Seriously. We get warnings and all this stuff because we're not used to that. And for you, it's like probably not even cold. <laughs> oh, no. I can't even imagine it being that cold. I don't think I've ever been in a in anywhere that's that cold. We have had some pretty things today. Oh wow. That's twenty or thirty I don't know. I don't know. I don't think I could handle a cold either. <laughs> I've never been in an area that cold. You like the 50s? That for us is cold here. 
I mean, you know, my area. When it's windy, it gets rid. Oh my gosh. No. I hope, oh my God, no. Because I'd be like, yeah, I'm staying home, but then I think I'd be like tired of being home, like, you know? <laughs> oh, wow. Hey. That's cold to me, so I need to, yeah. I thought, yeah, eventually, well, with all this Rona, but I think you were going to move eventually. Because of the Rona, all this stuff. Well, ladies, I'm going to call it a night. We will see you again tomorrow at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. Let's see what we talk about tomorrow, what endeavors we do tomorrow. Thank you so much for your support. We will see you tomorrow. Have a good rest. Bye, ladies. Good night. Good night, Edna. Yes, ma'am, you too. Or is going to break up soon. <laughs> yeah. Good night, everyone. Good night, Donna. Good night, Dee. You can message me.